you can conclude that water has reached its boiling point when its temperature stops increasing despite continuous heating. Oh yes, I remember from previous lessons that temperature remains constant during changing of state. That's right. To illustrate this more clearly, let's take a look at this heating curve. The substance is a solid at A. As temperature increases, it starts to melt at B. From B to C, the temperature stays constant because the substance is undergoing state change. So from B to C, what is the state of the substance? It is a mixture of solid and liquid. Is it because that some of the solid has melted, whereas some hasn't? That's right. After the melting process has been completed, the temperature continues to rise. And it reaches D, where it starts to boil. There you go. Again, the temperature of the substance stays constant during the boiling process. So, from A to B, the substance is a solid, and then from B to C, which is the melting point, it is a mixture of solid and liquid. Then, from C to D, it is a liquid, and from D to E, which is the boiling point, it is a mixture of liquid and gas, and from E to F, it is a gas. 